Thank you very much for being here. And I really wish I would. I'd like to take this time to clear up some of the questions that have been raised over the past 10 days or so. But not since I took office. And take full responsibility for my actions. Yeah, instead of blaming Republicans, terrorism, the rain, or even the Easter Bunny. At the outset, I'd like to make it clear that I have made terrible mistakes. Like with the economy, gas prices, health care, and educating our children. I have not been honest with myself, my family, my constituents, my friends, and supporters, and the media. But hey, I'm a politician. That's what I do. Last Friday night, I tweeted a photograph of myself that I intended to send as a direct message as part of a joke to a woman in Seattle. It's wiener time. It's wiener time. Once I realized I had posted to Twitter, I panicked. Like a drunk asshole in a room full of dicks. I took it down and said that I had been hacked. Lied like a true politician. I then continued with that story to stick to that story. Politics as usual. In addition, over the past few years, I have engaged in several inappropriate conversations conducted over Twitter, Facebook, email, and occasionally on the phone with women I have met online. Because I be cyber pimping, baby. To be clear, I have never met any of these women or had physical relationships at any time. But I was going to Bill Clinton if I got a chance. I haven't told the truth. Hey, I'm a politician. Come on. You can't blame me for that. And I've done things I deeply regret. Like getting caught. Crying is tough. I brought pain to people I care about the most and the people who believed in me. Come on, tears. Come on. And for that, I'm deeply sorry. That's a little better. Come on. I apologize to my wife. With our families. Yes, yes. As well as to our friends and supporters. I am deeply ashamed of my terrible judgment and actions. But now it's time to go to the golf course. Four!